Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Prop Wiz. I'm your host, The Wiz. Today, we'll be doing a box opening and review of this Batman utility belt. We got a Batarang, but I did open up a Batarang. I bought one of these separately, but evidently, this pack came together. I actually bought this directly from NECA Toys the first time I ever bought something directly from, from NECA. So, in fact, because I ordered it from them, I finally found out what NECA... I, I didn't know. I thought NECA was just the name, man. NECA actually stands for National Entertainment Collectible Association. Did not know that. It was written on the box when I got the box in. It was like, dude, who in the world? I thought it was like medical supplies or something. So happy surprise to open it uh, and find out what it was. And the, only, and the confusion was also added with the fact, I guess I should point out, it did take a while to get this thing. And I don't know if it was because I got it from NECA or... I don't know if it was a pre-order and didn't clear, you know, clearly say that it was a pre-order because it did take probably about three months, man, two and a half to three months for me to get this. It took a while for it to come in. Uh, but anyways, of course, I did a box opening review of the the battle ring itself. I might open it up on camera. It, it, it's not that much, but it looks like the exact same box and everything that I picked up from Walmart. In fact, I think I've still seen these on the shelves of some Walmarts out here in my area. This right here is something I haven't seen on the shelves. I've only seen it online. So really, really looking forward to, to opening this. Um, but before we do that, just going over the box, dude, we got the actual utility belt on the front. It looked like it is the actual toy itself. Batman got the famous Batman logo, utility belt replica. Uh, we got a bat logo on the side, both sides, top, everything else is the same logo and utility belt replica. On the back, again, we got the picture, but this is kind of cool. They got like a schematic, a blueprint kind of look look at it. So we got this saying movie accurate detail. Uh, we got a battering, ring, so I guess that's why it came with the battering. ring. And luckily, I do have the grappling. In fact, I got two grapple hooks. So I got a grapple I can put on display and I can put on this. So that's cool, man. These things were so cheap. Uh, dude, I, I grabbed a bunch of them. So I got an extra one of these and I got two grapple hooks. Um, it looks like we come with the communicator and a magnetically attached to the belt. So all these things uh, attached using magnets. And of course, we got all the capsules got different devices in it. So we'll go through all of those. Instead of going over the details here, we'll do the box opening and we'll go over uh, the details at that time, man. But definitely looking really, really looking forward to this one. All right, let's go ahead and just jump into the box opening. Okay. Here we are. Again, we do have the Batarang. I probably will open it up on here, but I have a whole video doing a review on this thing. So uh, we'll unceremoniously, I guess, box open that later just so we'll have the, the put on the utility belt since it's supposed to be able to, to connect to this thing. Okay, we got a tray style thing going. Oops, it's upside down. How to do this right, y'all. Okay. Dude, it comes with a grappling gun. Did I? I didn't even read that on here. Says that the battery ring and everything connects. Man. So, I already got a grappling gun, but this one comes with one, which is cool. By the way, I didn't even think about the fact that even though I've got a grappling gun and a battery ring, maybe the ones that I bought doesn't have the magnetic portions that it needs to connect to this. It says it used magnets to connect to the belt. So it didn't even cross my mind that this might just be different, man. Uh, or they might've added something to it to make it slightly different. Okay, this bad boy does not want to come out. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's cool, it's plasticky. Uh, I gotta compare it. Let me take a look at the other one later side by side but this is light it's plasticky you know what this gun is definitely different because the other gun actually does shoot the grapple shoots on this one it is this is more of a static piece so 100 percent. i only have to pull out the other one to see this one is definitely different than the other one um just to review it just off the top it looks good good enough to the eye man this, I'm almost tempted to paint this. Like, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but this looks plasticky. It, there's no paint on it. It just looks like it's black plastic. Not the worst thing in the world, but I, I think it can look a little bit better. But, okay. Got that out, man. Let's take a look at this belt, man. That's what we're here for, right? Okay. Whoa. This is, this is, this is gorgeous already, man. I'm, I'm, I'm. 
I'm pumped up, yo. Let's let's take a look at the belt first. Okay, the belt. First of all, this thing has some some weight to it. Uh, second of all, color is nice. It looks good. Again, it is plastic. You can't have the fact that it's plastic, but this actually looks pretty good. It looks like what the the uh, the utility belt would look like. And number three, as is, this thing will not fit my waist. Uh, it does extend. Oh, it extends a lot. Oh, dude, panels is popping off already. Okay, it does extend. So there's hope for it, man, because I'm not a small boy, yo. So I didn't think this was going to fit. This, this looks small, but it does expand. That is beautiful. All right, just taking a look at some of the details. Dude, again, this is the 89 Batman. This is a design, if you like me, we grew up with, we know what this bad boy looks like. Uh, the utility belt didn't change at all between Batman, the 89 Batman film, and Batman Returns. So we actually, this was one of those things that was uh, very consistent. Because as you know, the costume changed dramatically from one movie to the other. But this was the one constant <laughs> on the costume. This, parts of the boots, because the boots actually changed too. The shoe part of the boots changed. Uh, the gloves and this belt, man, I think pretty much stayed the same. So that's that classic design. Love it. Look. We already showing off this, uh, might as well. So the panel just popped off when I uh, was adjusting the size. So we'll go ahead and, and take a look at that since it's off. Look at that, yo. So I guess, you know, there were scenes when he was filling around on the bottom here that made the grappling gun appear. So I guess this is probably something that he can tap or tap around with. I don't know what the exact description of what it is, but it looks cool is sometimes as a toy collector as a comic book fan looking cool is just it's, it's good enough baby okay got the panel on the floor look at that yo on the other side of the panel wow we even got like a fake little some kind of monitor there buttons nothing is lighting up on this bad boy i don't know if it has light up features it doesn't look like it but we'll double check and make sure but you can see where that piece dude snaps right on so you have to know that it's there, I guess, to know that it pops off. And I don't know. Oh, and again, look at that. The button pushes and the belt comes loose. It is using hinges. There's no flexibility whatsoever in the band itself. You got a hinge. Uh, that's not bad at all. That, that at least knows we, it's going to keep its shape, right? We'll put that to the side right now. Let's look at some of the canisters. All right, this thing is in there pretty good, too. We got the communicator. Of course, famously, this is when he told the, bat, uh, the Batmobile to stop when it was uh, driving towards him. So this is cool. This is something we didn't get a whole lot of detail look at. It wasn't a close-up, but, dude, it's unmistakable on what that is, man. Look at that. That is cool. You got the little uh, mesh. Again, this is all plastic. This isn't... It's not the worst thing in the world. Again, man, this, this is a toy. NECA toys. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was about $120. So this ain't no top-notch, one-one scale replica, right? It is, it is a replica, but this ain't like a collector's piece in the sense that it's, everything is accurate in terms of what it's made out of. In other words, that's a very long-winded way of saying that it's made out of plastic. We knew it was going to be made out of plastic. We're, we're cool with it. That's what we paid for. But still... The attention to detail and having something like this in your hand that I've seen in the movies for years and years is cool. All right. What else we got? Look, I got a little cheat sheet. So I'm going to put this box here so I can see what we're working with, man, because this is a lot of details in this bad boy. Okay. Let me see. We'll start with this thing. There's two of these in here. This is labeled as smoke bombs. So that's cool. You got a little glass container. I'm assuming it's some kind of uh, liquid or some kind of chemical in that thing that when it hits, smoke comes out. So that's dope. It is got a, a, a point to it. So it, it's built like a projectile. I'm not sure if this is the little balls that he dropped at the beginning. No, I don't think it is because I think I see balls in there, the little uh, smoke balls in there. We'll see, see what, what it's called. But so this is obviously used to, as a projectile. Didn't see this in the movie at all, but look how cool that is. The detail, clear glass, even got this feeling like it screws, like you can unscrew that 
multi uh, colors. You got a dark gray or, or is that black? You know what? It's probably meant to be black. There's specks in it, little gray specks to give it a metallic look. This part, the gray parts. And then you got the actual uh, silver looking uh, tip or whatever. Let's see, did it focus? Okay, there we go. That's cool. Real cool. Two of those. All right, spent a lot of time on that. Let's see what else we got. Okay, this is called the rebreather, which is probably, yep, look at that. That's probably where you put your mouth at. If he's uh, underwater, pop this on his mouth and can breathe. Look, even got little miniature air tanks on there. Dude, awesome, awesome. I guess at some point we're going to see, is there a certain order that this has to go in on the utility belt or can you put it anywhere? So what's this right here? This is a micro camera. Let me see if we can see the lens. I don't see no lens. The, well, this is the lens up there. So those must represent the lens. It is painted, painted blue. I think it would have been cool if they had used actual clear, uh, a clear dome on that to make it look more, more camera light, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Obviously that's a shutter button there. And I can even see the case where the film is supposed to go, right? You push that button and then the thing pops open. So not only is this a micro camera, but this is a micro camera from 1989, which means this is predates digital cameras. This is a film camera now some tiny 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 film that goes in that bad boy but nonetheless film camera very accurate to the time i appreciate that NECA, you're not playing no games okay what else we got what else do we got this is a scanner look if you're going to want to be able to take pictures you're going to want to be able to scan that photo or scan that thing without taking it to walgreens or cvs you know what i'm saying so every batman should have one of these. In fact, I'm a photographer. I need one of these in my utility belt. Um, can I get a work in one of these? Anyways, I'm not even going to guesstimate how this works. I don't know where. I'm assuming this is the scanning part. Again, I think it would be cool if they had some kind of clear plastic to go over there just to give it a lens kind of feel, but not the worst thing in the world, man. This, this is a, a made-up world. Obviously, there's no scanner this small at that time. I think I might have seen one on James Bond, but James Bond is not real either. So we're good. All right. What is this thing? Okay. Some of these pictures are funny looking. This is a taser. Of course it's a taser. I should have known that. Look at that. Got the little spikes where the electricity comes from. There's a lot of little doodads on here. Now I will say this one looks a little bit more futuristic. Some of the gadgetry on the sides looks a little bit more fu futuristic. I'm guessing that's the button. But look, Batman got a taser, man. How cool is that, yo? He doesn't kill. It's on brand. It makes sense. Okay. This right here is a torch. It says, obviously, the torch comes here. We got the button. I do feel like in one of the Batman movies, I'm not sure which one, but I feel like I saw a torch. It might have even been the 66 Batman film, but I think I have seen a torch uh, of some kind or uh, on a Batman movie or cartoon or something. So... This is kind of cool. Again, I wonder how much of this is designed. I didn't research the utility belt to that level. Like, is this something that Tim Burton and his team did design and was never shown? Uh, because, man, there's a lot. This, it's very, very consistent. So whoever did this, even for the toy, made sure everything is very consistent. And I appreciate that. And, yeah, real creative and, and still on brand with Batman at, at that time. But look at that. That is cool, man. Torch. Or... For you smokers out there, this would probably be what you'd be using as a lighter. <laughs> Get your life together. Okay. And here, the things I alluded to earlier, the gas pellets. And does it come out? I think the pellets actually come out, y'all. Oh, my Lord. The question is, do I take... Yes, it do. Look at that. A gas pellet, yo. It actually comes out. It's very detailed to it. You got some red lines going around it. Dude, that is cool. Of course, I'm not taking those out. It didn't come with no extra pellets, so I ain't trying to lose no pellets because we ain't got no pellet replacements. So we'll leave it in there, man. But look at that. It is beautifully, beautifully designed, y'all. Come on. That is dope. So it comes with four pellets all together. And that looked like that's it in the box, man. So let's kind of put this thing together and see what we're looking at. Again, I'm going to take a look at this and see. There's no directions. Nope. There's no directions whatsoever. So now I guess our biggest question 
is going to be, can any pellet go in any container or do I got to pick and choose? And I guess we'll see. All right. That's not going in. Okay, it went in there. Yeah, let me see. Lay them out and just see if they're the overall. They are overall the same shape. Might be a couple that might be skinnier than the other ones. Yeah, I'm wondering where these, these bad boys go. I don't see a place where those pellets, the quote unquote smoke bombs, go. Okay. Yeah, man, some of these things are going right in for sure. So I wonder why. So now I'm being nitpicky because I do want my I want my pellets up front, man. Because they, they showed the pellets in the movie, man. So I know the pellets exist. Yo, so okay. This is interesting. Guess what we have here? There's more pellets than there are pellet holders on the belt. So we have additional pellets. So that's very interesting. So the pros and the cons, the pro is I'll be able to display this belt and have a couple of these sitting next to it. So uh, display purposes, all this additional stuff is, is mad cool, man. The con, there is no con. I guess the only con is if I don't display this with this, I'm going to have to keep track of these because in my basement, in my studio, these, this kind of stuff will get lost like real easy. I'll see this one day. In fact, I'll probably forget that that was a Batman thing 10 years from now when I see it. But uh, that kind of con is not, that ain't worth nothing. We're, we're good. Let me see how the magnet thing, yes, look at that. It stuck to it immediately. And we'll, yo, and when I'm telling you stick, that thing is sticking to it. Okay. The, the magnet is only in between these spaces right here. So that's your only option. It's not the worst thing in the world. Like I'm wondering how the how this thing will stick there. Yep, and of course this obviously will come come in pieces. We'll take that apart in a minute. Let's see. Do we got the same thing with this? This doesn't have no mech. So this is the only thing that's kind of I don't know where this thing goes. Uh, which again, it's fine. And. I know we went over there, but I had to do this again. I know we went over it. Come on, yo. Dope, son. Dopey dope, son. Oh, it even tells me I had it upside down. So it goes that way. Okay. Let's see. Gun comes apart. Yes, gun comes apart very, very easily. Dude, so that, that's dope. Can't. Do y'all remember what side this thing came on? Okay, so I will say these two things are not fitting on here at the same time. So the picture is actually showing it together right next to each other. Yeah, I guess, it, but it, it's not. There's not enough room in that. Oh, there it go. Yeah, yeah, if I display it like that, but that still looks different than it does in the photo. In the photo, they got it like right next to each other. There's not a... There's not enough room in between that for both of these to, to fit. Uh, that's absolutely fine, man. Again, I don't know how display-wise how this thing would work. Unless I put this on a mannequin or, or half mannequin or something, I really don't know if I'll be able to display it like that. It, it depends. Because if I have this thing sitting on the shelf or something and it's laying on that, I, I, can't, I can't see that working. But I guess it's cool to have that option. And to be honest with you, I would have spent $100 just just on this belt. If it didn't do anything, I probably would have spent that money. This is a pretty cool little accurate little piece, man. So all the rest of this stuff is bonus. I be it, it didn't cost $100. It cost more than $100. So I do take what uh, what is given. Okay, there's no spring action. I thought there was going to be a button or something and it would pop up. It isn't. So this is all, um, you just, you got, you got to just pull it out. All right, which is, again, not the worst thing in the world. Here, let me go ahead and do open this uh, Batarang right quick, just so we can have it. And the Batarang is definitely the same Batarang that I already have. And I know this because the Batarang came with this little thing right here. 
I got that. I actually got that displayed. My wife displays that at the front, man. She saw this sitting on a shelf somewhere and she was like, nah, this gotta be at the front, which is cool. Okay, the battery ring is small. Look, I'm about to do a review. We already did a review. Check out the review, man. I'll, I'll probably put the link on here so you guys can check it out. But I already reviewed this bad boy. It's not a lot to it. It does fold up, which is cool. And I'm guessing that's where, yup. There we go. Oh, I thought we had magnet action. Yes, there's a magnet action, but it's not, it's not as strong <laughs> as the other stuff. Look, it's fitting that way. Let me try something else, because I think it doesn't fold up on the picture. It's not completely folded up. Oh, there we go. That's it right there. So you couldn't fold it. I had it all the way folded up. It just partially folds it up, and it sticks on there, and I'm, it's not coming off. That's perfect. And fits in between that space a lot better than the grappling gun. That, that's dope, y'all. All right, man. I think that's it with the details. We'll take it back up to the studio for the final thoughts. Okay, we made it back into the studio. Uh, I did learn some things in between the box opening and bringing this bad boy up here. One, there's another panel on here that came off. So we got this guy over here, right? But we also have another panel with some interesting stuff on the inside, which I thought was real cool. Some uh, additional detail, a lot more detail, in fact. So this side has this circuitry thing going on, and this thing has, I don't know what you call it. It's got some more doodads on this side. I will say this thing done fell off, and I didn't even realize it did. The negative, I did find out a couple of negative things, so that's a cool thing. Some stuff was positive, something was negative. One thing this thing fell off, or when it came off, this piece actually broke off. So it's not as sturdy. It looked like it was glued together, but it wasn't a lot of glue. It's not a lot keeping this piece of plastic on the inside of that. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I just actually put some hot glue. I didn't even put no super glue. I just put some hot glue in that bad boy, and it's fixed. But I just thought it was notable how easy it came off. Two, and this is a big one, probably only dudes with bigger waists like me, this thing does expand to where you can fit. It can fit you. It expands enough to fit my waist. But this curve right here doesn't give way at all. It's not flexible. Yeah, I'm looking at it too just to make sure I wasn't missing something. It's not flexible at all. So what that means is you make this thing wide, but you see how small that little, that oval shape never loses shape. So yeah, you can make this thing big enough, I guess, to fit around your waist. But one, it's hard for this thing to, extremely hard for this thing to buckle when this thing is all the way out. And also it just looks awkward on your waist because this thing is, like I said, it's almost like it's pinching you and, and sticking out. Um, so it's almost built probably to, that's probably as big as it'll get before it starts being awkward in terms of that curve. All right, I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Just basically, yes, you can make this thing bigger, but there's no flexibility whatsoever in this band. There's only this uh, this hinge on the back. There's a couple of hinges on the front. It's not enough to, to actually shape that thing to wrap around your waist properly. That can be a very, very big thing for those of you who might have been wanting to wear this. For me personally, I don't have a 1989 Batman suit, so I had no intentions of wearing this as a costume. This I bought with the purpose of sitting on the shelf. So when I do get to my rating, my rating is going to be based off the fact that this is a static piece or just something to sit on the shelf and not something to wear. If it was wearable, I can tell you right now, this bad boy would, would get an automatic, I don't know, one zero even because I, I can't wear it. Now, I do do photography shoots. I do work with a lot of models. So this might be something that might go good with a Batgirl suit. I might be able to switch this up and put, in fact, when I do the outro video, I think I'm going to put this bad boy on a bat suit, uh, Batgirl suit that I made some years ago um, just so it would display a little bit better to make it easier to videotape. So I might do that, man. Just, just use it for a photo or shoot something. But personally, I won't be wearing it. Anyways, that's my final thoughts on this bad boy. Overall, I enjoy it, man. I think it's dope. It's exactly what I expected for the most part. In fact, we got some bonus things that I wasn't really expecting. Or maybe I forgot, again, three months ago, for me, it might be too long. Maybe I forgot what I ordered, but I was only expecting the belt. I got a grappling gun. I got a batarang and some additional cartridges to go into the, uh, the capsules, the utility belt capsules, man. These are awesome. And again, I think just overall, this would look awesome on display. There's absolutely no mistaking what this is. Even if it's somebody that grew up with the 1966 Batman, 
or if you grew up in the comic book, the, regardless, man, I, I think the beauty with the 89 Batman, uh, specifically the utility belt, man, and, and the logo, there's just certain things that you're always going to recognize as Batman, period, regardless of what movie or, or specific thing that it came from, right? It's very, very unique to that. So, of course, that makes it an awesome piece to have on the shelf. A, a very good discussion started, right? Anyways, that's my review. That's my thought. As far as my rating, I give it a four out of five. I did take a point off because, like I said, there was a couple of parts that fell apart that I don't think it should have. Um, if it wasn't for that uh, it, and a couple of pieces that didn't feel like it fit where it was supposed to, that's a, a little bit. I, I think it could be turned up just a little bit, just a little bit more room for improvement. But overall, I think four is a good, solid number. In fact, uh, I, I think that's decent for this. But anyways, that's my review. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already, please take the time to subscribe. If you like this video, please hit that like button. As always, I love you guys to death, and I'll check you out next time, all right? This cold chill that comes with these low skills. How this world goes, I'ma hold on to hope still. Why you focus on the dope deal? I'm trying to be so ill. Independent pack rapping is dope still. Yo, so you can flow, I know. And you are dope, I know. And you are so, I know what you're gonna say, and I know. So you can flow, I know. And you are dope, I know. And you are so, I know what you're gonna say, and I know. Man, I'm automatic. I'm like static when I touch the fabric. Your girl's looky, it's like cookie, man. She feel the magic. I'm a savage, so fly away like you Lenny Kravitz. I've been the baddest, made Mike beat it and sing a ballad. I bring the malice, you jack off, you feel a callous. A star is born like the middle of the field in Dallas. No losing balance, I'm Jack Palace, you lack balance. I'm back styling, I'm Mac Wildin', no Mike smiling. Howling on beats, rapping, it's beats, prowling the streets. Growling the freaks, speak, they bow with my feet. Speaking, you fine, man, mine's leaving no peace of mind. Cause when I blow, yo, it's just pieces of your mind. Maybe you can find a combine.